guys are required today, I love it. Our choir recently. Before we get our celebration today, invite us to turn to someone next to us that we have not yet introduced ourselves to. And to welcome them here to Central Adventure today. <laughs>
whose days I, Daniel, heard this word of the Lord. At that time there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time unsurpassed in distress since nations began until that time. At that time your people shall escape, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be in everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The word of the Lord.
not give its light, and the stars will be fallen from the sky, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send out the angels and gallop as he left from the four winds, from the end of the earth to the end of the sky. Learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branch becomes tender and sprouts leaves, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see these things happen, you know that he is near at the gates. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But of that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord.
Daniel's prophecy, we heard he's laying out the choice for us. Do you want to be one of the wise who shine like the star? Or do you want to be an everlasting horror in disgrace? Do you want to live or do you want to die? What's going to make you the one who shines like the star? Daniel says, those who lead the many to justice shall be like the star of the world. In the gospel, Jesus says, the Son of Man will gather his elect from the, from the four corners of the world. That's like, what will live? What will be one of the elect? But what do we have to do to be one of the elect? Isn't it the same basic thing to seek God's justice, seek God's will in our life? You know, people for ages have been trying to figure out when the world's going to end, you know, how long do we have to get ready? Jesus says, nobody knows the day or the hour, the month of the year either. So what do, why waste our time worrying about that kind of thing? We all know that we are going to face our own end, our own judgment. And, you know, it could be tomorrow. There's enough unexpected, unexpected deaths and shootings and fires. It doesn't matter. We really need to ready, right, at any time. We need to be um, prepared for our own end. And that doesn't mean sitting around waiting, sitting around being good. In the letter to Hebrews in our second reading, it says, Jesus has already offered the perfect sacrifice of himself. Now he's seated forever at the right hand of God, waiting until his enemies are put, are made his footstool. So Jesus is waiting for something. And I think our call is to help with that. Our battle is to try to help get to where God's enemies are at his feet. Not with violence, but with taking up our cross, putting ourselves out there a little bit, sacrificing to help bring his justice to this world. Because if we don't, if we cooperate with the evil that masquerades as good, that's how you get to be everlasting horror and disgrace. And you might ask yourself, what can I do? What can we do? Considering the enormity of what's around us, the, the weight of sin that's around us, what can we do? Can I do anything? The answer is yes. You can do something. I'm going to say we need to do three things in our own life. First is make that live or die decision. That you're going to live for Jesus. The second thing is just to look at what you have, what your skills are, where you're at in life, what, what things you can do, and don't think you can't do anything. You're not helpless. You can do something. You can have an impact. Figure out what you can do. And then the third thing is to rely on, to be courageous, but to rely for your courage on Jesus himself, his power, his might, his power to help. Because as we heard in that second reading, we can be confident as Christians because Jesus has already won the victory, right? He's already through his, his suffering and death and his resurrection has said, this is what's going to be the future. You just hang on to me. So, Jesus is coming. Since we don't know the day or the hour, let's make this the day. Let's make this our, our hour where we're going to stand up and do what we need to do. So the question you want to live or you want to die. Let's start living for Jesus today. And happy day to you.
shine like the stars of heaven, leading many to justice in preparation for Christ's return. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For our nation, that as we observe Thanksgiving, we may renew our sense of dependence upon God for our freedom, our security, and for all of we need. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For the presentation sisters, who this Wednesday will celebrate their feast day, that Mary, the most faithful spouse of the Holy Spirit, may obtain for them abiding trust in Jesus the Beloved and profound charity for one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young people, especially those in distress, that amidst the corrupting influences of, of the world, the Lord may show them the path to life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill, that we unite their sufferings to the perfect offering of Christ, especially Leonido de Alca, Bill Dow, Angelo Duplantier, Father Richard Kennedy, James Quinn, Daniel Mills, Wendy Mills, Lou Mikai, and those mentioned in our bulletin, I mean in our prayer book of petitions, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may know the fullness of joy in the presence of the Lord, especially Ignacio Anaya, Claude Coker, Andrew Lambert, Jerry Lynn, Jim Minahan, Angie Panos, Rita Pauly, Robert Barczyk, and Astrid Vieira. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For all the intentions and our prayers of petition and those we hold in the silence of our hearts. <coughs> Pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Pray together our renovation prayer. Almighty and ever faithful God, we place our trust in you as we prepare for the future of the same on which you perish. Send us your spirit of wisdom and understanding to enlighten our minds and hearts. Fill us with the spirit of our judgment and courage.
whom you have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor upon the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son, and confirm in us the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy and Han as the pillar bishops, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire Grant that all the faithful of the church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead in this faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with Saint Bonaventure, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, of glory and honor is yours forever.
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Thank you. 